Hey guys, Pasay Baller here. We're on the third game of this February 9 NBA Game Day Edition. Um, this is a Western Conference matchup between Houston Rockets and New Orleans Pelicans. Uh, before we start, I'm just inviting everyone who have not uh, subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, Pase Baller, please bash on that button below, subscribe button at that, and also include that be um, bell logo or bell button. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notification as soon as we have a video up. Okay, uh, Houston Rockets versus New Orleans Pelicans. As mentioned earlier, both teams are from the West, and let's take a look at their records. Uh, starting with Houston Rockets, they are the number 10 team of the West with 11 wins and 12 losses. Um, unfortunately for the Rockets, uh, they have experienced back-to-back -back losses lately. For New Orleans Pelicans, they are the number 12 team with 10 wins and 12 losses. So basically, they are, they are just um, one, ha uh, one half game behind each other. Uh, but the good thing about New Orleans Pelicans is that uh, they are enjoying a three-game winning streak. That's actually something great. Now, let's take a look at the details of this game. This one will be played at New Orleans at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So, that's 8.30 a.m. Manila. The spread given is minus 4 for New Orleans and plus 4 for Houston. I guess this makes sense because basically um, a lot of factors are being um, taken by New Orleans um, on their side. Number one is the home court advantage. Number two is fatigue factor. Houston Rockets played last night against Charlotte Hornets. They actually lost that game, so their legs must be a bit tired. New Orleans had, uh, actually, if I'm not mistaken, New Orleans even had a two-day two rest. So um, it's something huge for them. And then number three is the momentum. I mentioned earlier, Houston is in back-to-back -back losses while New Orleans is enjoying a three-game winning streak. So the momentum is definitely on New Orleans' side. Okay, but uh, let's take a look at um, the injury list. Um, for New Orleans, it's just Josh Hart that is placed here. Um, Josh Hart is listed as uh, questionable for this game and this is due to back spasms. Now, let's check on the Houston Rockets. Um, Exum is still out, um, as well as Christian Wood. Uh, Christian Wood is, again, one of those uh, best players that they have right now. It's just that he can't play because of uh, this injury that he had with his ankle. Good news for Houston Rockets is that John Wall will be playing, Eric Gordon will be playing, and again, I'm basing it on the ESPN site right now. They are removed from the injury list, and they are... Uh, so refreshed because they opted to sit out yesterday's game against Charlotte Hornets. Um, I don't see any anything here saying that Oladipo would also be sitting the game out or is listed as day-to-day. -day, so the assumption is that he would also play. Um, so that's actually one good thing. I know majority of the Houston Rockets um, are, um, are a bit tired because... Um, of the back-to-back -back games but again two of their main guys two of their main scorers at that will be back and will be refreshed again those are john wall and eric gordon my t my my pick on this one would be houston rockets plus four i understand that uh, new orleans is actually having a huge momentum and they're very i'm very happy to see them play they're fun to you know they're fun to watch especially when you see um, Zion Williamson uh, jump for those dunks. And it's not, it's not really, um, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, New Orleans would actually win this one. Uh, but I'm picking Houston Rockets plus four because I believe that, say, New Orleans would indeed win this one. I, I can't imagine that it will be like a blowout or something, or it will be something huge or more than four. And I'm also taking Houston Rockets plus four because, again, John Wall is actually playing well. If you've noticed his three-point shooting percentage lately or specifically for this, for this season, if I'm not mistaken, that's the best. Uh, this is the best three-point shooting percentage that he's had in his career. So while uh, he has improved a lot, uh, he is well-rested um, along with uh, Eric Gordon. Oladipo would definitely help him out. Plus, uh, in terms of Zion Williamson, uh, Houston Rockets got P.J. Tucker. And uh, P.J. Tucker 
loves those kind of um loves those kind of uh challenges you know going up against the top player of the you know of the opponent of the opposing team and of course let's just uh let uh steven adams and boogie um uh wrestle it out in the center position so again i'm taking my i'm taking my risk in uh uh picking houston rockets but there should be a plus there for safety reasons again houston rockets plus four also, please follow and like our Facebook page. It has the same name, Pase Baller. You can uh, go there um, and you can actually send us messages or questions via Messenger. And I promise that I will be responding as soon as I see them. All right? Stay there for the other videos and for the other games. Peace out. Pase Love. God bless.